So there are a lot of people wondering if I want to buy an iMac computer, but I want to Visa mount that computer on an articulating arm, how do I do that? And that's an important question because the iMac computers of today no longer have a removable stand. So if you want to Visa mount your iMac computer, you have to do that by buying it that way from Apple. And I wanna show you how to do that. So we're at the Apple website, apple.com, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Mac I'm gonna click on iMac and I'm gonna click on buy, which puts me into the Mac configurator. But instead of clicking on one of these computers, I'm gonna go down here and right where it says, looking for an iMac with a built-in Visa mount adapter. So that's what you wanna click on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna configure a higher powered Mac. So I'll go ahead and click on 27 inch and 3.8 gigahertz eight core processor. So I'll click on select here. The first question it asks you, do you want standard glass or nano texture glass? I pick standard glass for two reasons. Number one, I want to keep $500 in my pocket. And number two, I want to be able to do my hair and shave in front of my iMac. And how am I going to do that if I don't get the cool reflection off of the glass? So there it is. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, since we're doing the high powered configuration here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Intel Core i9 processor. And that's what I have in mind. For memory, I'm gonna do the base configuration because we're gonna get our memory somewhere else. One of the advantages of buying an iMac computer is that they actually have a door. There's a button where you can pop open the door and it just pops open the door and the memory just comes out on a tray. It's the easiest thing in the world to replace. You can get memory from OWC, which is Otherworld Computing. They have a great reputation for memory. There are other places that you can get memory, maybe a little bit cheaper, probably 10% cheaper but OWC has a fantastic reputation and they have a great tech support department and they stand behind their product and if you ever have any problem with the memory they'll get you fixed up let's go down here the graphics card is probably okay just the way it is the graphics card that comes with the computer is a Radeon Pro 5500 XT with 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and that's enough for just about anything you want to do even if you want to use Final Cut Pro if you're gonna do something like multi-cam 4k or something like that Maybe you want to jump to the 5700 or the 57 XT and I'll leave that up to you. I did the upgrade for mine. For storage, I'm going to recommend that you jump up a little bit to the one terabyte SSD storage for two reasons. Number one, 512 gigabytes might not be enough because you're going to be loading sound libraries and things like that. And that's a lot more space that you're going to need on your computer than the average person. On the other hand, if you need additional space, you're going to do that using your Thunderbolt 3 connection connection and you're going to do that using an external drive which is going to be a lot cheaper than buying it this way. Here for instance four terabytes is a thousand dollars and there's probably cheaper ways to get that and because of the Thunderbolt 3 connection you can get really fast uh, communication speeds to that drive so that it literally is exactly like using an internal drive. Uh, I'm going to leave the gigabit ethernet the same way that it is here. If you're going to have a uh, YouTube channel or you're doing a lot of videos and stuff like that, you might consider doing 10 gigabit ethernet if you want a mass storage device, such as a RAID device of some kind, and you want the option of connecting to it using 10 gigabit ethernet. Otherwise, the uh, gigabit ethernet is just fine for what you're doing, but it's only a $100 upgrade, so that's something to think about. I'm gonna recommend that you get the Magic Mouse and the Magic Trackpad because there are advantages to using both, especially when you're trying to click on faders and things like that that you're gonna be using in the software. Logic Pro X is $100 $99 if you're going to be doing videos and sound engineering you'll want both of these in our example we're just going to choose the Logic Pro X if you have a student in school or if you're going to college or if you're a teacher professor there are lots of other ways to qualify if you look at the link here it says shop for college. You would click on that and that would give you the option to buy something called Pro Apps Bundle for $199, which will give you Final Cut Pro X as well as Logic Pro X, as well as compressor and motion. So you get an awful lot for your money. So that's another way to go. But the way that we have this computer configured, it's only $3,267.99 plus tax. That will give you a computer that literally is more powerful than the entry level iMac Pro, which starts 
starts at $5,000. So it's actually a really great deal. And you're getting this with the Visa mount. So let's take a look at what the Visa mount looks like. They have a gallery here. So from the front, the computer looks the same. If we look at it from the side, they have a drawing here. And by the drawing, they're implying that they're not giving you the articulating arm. They're just giving you the mount. Here you can see the side view of the mount. Here's another view of the mount. And here you can see the mount full on. This is how the computer comes. There is no stand at all with the computer. The good news is you get a lot of different types of output here. And of course you have Thunderbolt 3, so you can get a breakout box if you need anything else. And Thunderbolt 3 is very easy to daisy chain because it has such a wide bandwidth. Now let's try something else. I'm gonna go start all over again here. I'm gonna go to Apple. I'm gonna go to Mac. I'm gonna go to iMac. I'm gonna say buy. And then from here, I'm gonna say Visa mounted. I'm gonna say 27 inch. I'm gonna show you another configuration that's very viable, especially for recording engineering. You'll be very happy with this. You can actually do Final Cut Pro with this as well, as long as you're not doing multicam or anything like that. And we're gonna stay with the base configuration here of the i5 processor with turbo boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. So this is a fantastic processor. Again, we're staying with the base memory here. I'm gonna jump up to the one terabyte SSD storage, which is extremely fast. I'm also gonna get the Magic Mouse and the trackpad, and I'm gonna say that I want Logic Pro X. And with everything here, it's $2,567.99. And that's about $1,000 cheaper. That's not bad at all. That's all you need for a recording studio that has plenty of horsepower and you won't have to upgrade probably for another decade or so. And you can also do videos and stuff like that. Again, as long as you're not doing anything extremely demanding like 8K or multicam 4K. And if I take off the software, you can see that just the computer itself is $2,368. So that's not bad. So I've given you a couple of options here in terms of the computer. And I'm gonna give you a couple of pictures of the computer that I have installed. So here is a picture of the back of the Visa mounted iMac that I have. So you can see what that looks like. And here is a picture of the iMac that's mounted. You can see that there's no stand, nothing attaching it to the desk. The desk is clear. And you can also see the mounted second monitor as well, which is a 4K monitor. That's all I have for this video. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for stopping by.